Hello all, welcome to G-Lecta, yes. So yeah, I can see that so many students that are popping their comments in the comment section. Yes, so the excitement starts here. As you can read, that's on my slide. So we all are excited for this lesson. Yes, so yeah, hi all. So you know that today we'll be covering an amazing, like not am, so many topics today and I'll be teaching you so many tricks so that you can all of you, so that you can use all of them in your exams and you can crack your exams. But before moving to that, I would like to tell you something about Gelecta. What is Gelecta? Gelecta is an online platform that gives you an amazing opportunity to crack all of your exams and we target 11 plus GCSE, A level and all the birds that you can see on your screen. We target all of these birds, right? Hi. Hi, Jason. Okay. Hello, Vishnu. Hi, Ramya. Hi, Vijay Prasad. Hello. So, yes, I can see you're saying hi. Hi to all. Okay. Very good. Now, today we'll be doing these important topics with easy tips and tricks and also you can use it in your exams. So the topics like tenses, I know that that makes most of the students tensed in your exams. So don't do that. Don't be tensed. Don't be stressed out because now I'm here and there are so many tricks there. So just use it and have fun. Like do the fun learning, okay? Hi. Hi, Juhi. Hi, Kittens Loving Game. Hello. Hello, Nitesh. Hi, I can see all of them. Okay, welcome to G-Lecta. Okay, now, now let's talk about reported speech. So I know that, that there are so many rules in reported speech that might be puzzling for you students. So I am having one sentence. With that sentence, you can solve all of this like this. Usually stuck with accuracy. Okay, hi, kitten. Okay, she's saying OMG. Okay, hello all. Yeah. Okay, so there is Lahan. Hi. Now, so these you can see that there are so many things working. Now, we know that vocabulary. Just like before movies that you do on daily basis to make yourself fit, very fit. Similarly, vocabulary boost your English. So now, I'll be showing you some amazing words, okay, is this. Now let's see if you guys can actually remember. I'm just quickly checking your memory, how, like we have discussed these words, yes. So I'm just checking it if you remember because revision is the most important thing that you do. Revision, okay, always do revise. Yes, so, okay, don't worry, okay, we are working on it. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, I can see the answers. Naja is answering. Very good. Nitesh, very good. Okay, mothership, tired. Someone is saying effort. Effort, yeah. Like we do effort when we do efforts. When we find something quite challenging. Yes, then we do efforts. Yes? Okay, Jessin. Now, arduous actually means very good, like something which is full of difficulties. Like you did some, uh, I'm not, I'm just saying that 11 plus, that requires efforts. It's then it will not be difficult for you. You can easily crack it. So you need to just practice on the daily basis and also do revise. Okay, next word is this. Now, I would definitely like to know the meaning of this word, okay? Now, come on, answer me in the comment section. Yes, Dennis, you're saying effort. Okay, Vishnu, yeah, it's hard work. Electric, hard work and effort. H not exactly hard work or effort. It's like something which is very difficult. Yeah. Okay, Ramya Suresh saying confused. Nitesh saying puzzled. Very good. Naja, confused. Very good. Okay. Okay, Nitesh. Okay, very good. So the answer is puzzled or confused. Yes. Yes, I can see that. Very good, everyone. Yes, kittens love gaming, answering puzzled. Very good. So the, so the answer is puzzled. Now the next word, ascender. 
Now, the word is appearing on the screen. Tell me the meaning of this word. Hi, hi, James Fernando. Welcome to GLECTA. Okay, hi, Lily. Hi, yes, I can see. Sujata, yes, it's Sujata Rani. Yes, it's confused. Okay. SKG, not sure. Don't worry. You can see I have already give I have already given you the hint. You can read it. Okay, the next word is Sunder. Come on. Very good, Naja. Naja is the first one to answer this. That is a part. I would like to clap. This is an applause for you. Very good, Jessen. Yes, Natasha is saying a part. Electric saying I don't know. Don't worry, you'll be knowing it. Don't be stressed about it. We'll be discussing all these things. Turn apart, mothership. Very good. Wow, you guys have a very strong memory. Like you remember the meanings and that's an amazing job. Very good. Now, I would like to congratulate Abdul. So, he actually won this kind of, like, you know, he actually won this prize. And you can also be the one to win this by being most, the most active kid in the comment section. Like, you need to be very focused, listen to me very carefully, and quickly answer me in the comment section. Then you'll be winning one milk test and one free live session on the behalf of G Lecter. So these things will be definitely helping you in your 11 plus exams. Now, let's quickly talk about verbs. Okay, now you guys are like, now you get the motivation to be more active in the comment section. And let's see, like you should be always competitive. Why? Because 11 plus is a competitive exam, right? So you should have that competition, like you should have that competitive spirit in you that you always compete with yourself, with all of your kind of difficulties in your life. Very good. Okay. Oh, Jess, and you want to win that prize? Definitely then be very active. Okay. And listen to me very carefully. Okay. Be very attentive. Okay. Kim Chang is congratulating Abdul. Very good. You'll, you'll be the next one, student. Okay. Hazel Brown, congratulations. Okay. So yeah, I'm really happy that you're congratulating, but you should always have the competitive spirit. Now, <laughs> Nitesh is saying, okay, then Jessin. So you should have confidence in yourself. Like you can also win this, right? A very good thing. Okay, now you can see this is hmm, the box in front of you. And it's about verbs, okay? I have mentioned V1, V2, V3. Okay. Now, quickly tell me how many types of verbs are there? and why they are different, okay? Okay, Naja, you're saying that verbs are doing being and action words. Okay, so yeah, you know, there are two types of verbs, actually three types of verbs. <laughs> okay, so we'll be discussing major two to three types. The first one is the action word, like I am dancing, I am singing, she is eating, she is cooking. So there is an action, right? So this is called an action verb. The next word is helping verbs. She is. So is is helping the subject. So she is cooking. It's the helping verb. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Jessen. Five types. Kitten. Five types. Okay. Joshua Wong doing words. Very good. Now, yeah, I can. Res I I am receiving so many answers. Like five types. Very good. So tell me, like V4 and V5. What is the V4 of a bite. Tell me in the comment section. I'm waiting for your answers. Yeah. Come on, come on, James. I need your answer. Very good, Jessin. Okay, abide. Abide means to follow something. Okay, like like I should abide the rules. I should obey the rules. So it's like that. Very good, very good, Abdul. It's like very good. Now you're also being today. You are also being very active. That's that's an amazing thing. Very good. V4 is something that is the continuous form of something. And V5, when you add S or ES to it. Amazing. So now you can guys quickly answer it and you know. So this, this was the main thing because now in the preceding lesson, I'll be telling you about V4 and V5. We need to use it. So don't be bemused okay now we should always you know use these vocabulary like don't be bemused about it so be very co kind of confident okay next 
Let's quickly talk about this table. We're gonna solve this table with a very amazing fun trick. Okay, be ready for that. He drives a car. Okay, drives. You can see that. Very good. Ah, okay, I'm receiving the refer in the comment section. Just in abiding. Okay, Vijay Prasad abiding. Nitesh abiding. Okay, Vanida. Okay, abiding. Jessin, Ramya, James, the, okay, very good. I am happy that you guys know that V4 is like adding ING to it. Very good. So that will be definitely saving our time and we'll be talking about what is V4 and V5. Okay, now, if you guys can quickly see this table. So drives, it's like V5, drove V, V2, okay, and drive is V1. Hmm, now, so Eva actually has a code now. Okay, I know that you guys know that my name is Eva, right? So now I am having a code. You do know that? Can anyone tell me what is the code of James Bond? Do you know that who is James Bond? Let's quickly answer me. Okay, I understand everything. I am not bemused. Very good, Kim Chan. That's an amazing thing that you should do, like, you know, forming the sentences out of the word. That will be definitely helping in your daily life to, you know, remember the vocabulary words. Like you should always, you know, use these words in your daily life, conversation. Very good. Very good, James Fernando, because they are main verbs, helping verbs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm receiving the James Bond code. <laughs> that is, yeah. Joshua Wong, English spy. Boom. Congratulations. Mothership, movie star. Yeah, I am receiving 007. Very good. Just like James Bond has a code 007, I am having a code right now that is 521. 521. So, in simple present, we use V5. In past, simple past, we use V2. And in simple future, we use V1. So, that is the one code we should always remember for simple tenses. It should be Present, past, future, doesn't matter. So it's 521, the code. Yeah. Students, quickly download the free milk test, okay? You need to quickly solve that milk test after the lesson because that will be definitely helping you in 11 plus. So don't forget to download that milk test I am receiving. Okay, very good, 521. Now 521, it's Eva's code now, okay? 521, very good. Now, driving is V4. I have already told you when you add ing to something that will turn into v4 here you can see it v4 v4 so whenever it's continuous irrespective of it's continuous or perfect continuous or any continuous it could be future continuous any pick any continuous it always have v4 that is v4 okay i have done it i did it very good Continuous, yes, very good. Okay, five two one. Jesse saying five two one. Vijay Prasad five two one. Okay, thank you so much for downloading it. Most of the students they're answering in the comment section that they did it. <laughs> Nitesh is saying four four four. <laughs> very good, four four four. Now you you're starting making your own codes. That's what you do. Ease ease down your studies. Make like you can also do it by yourself. You can bring out the talent okay that you have you can make easy tricks for yourself even whenever you have time sit there make tricks make study fun that's we do here on g lecture we do that okay we believe in fun learning as well and we do the hard things with the help of these easy tricks very good <laughs> someone saying i printed very good very good jessin okay now 876 what's that i don't get it what is 876 perfect Okay, four, four, four. Okay, very good. So now I ha I'm seeing that there are two things. Continuous is V4. Perfect continuous, V4. Here you can see it. So now we have covered half of the tenses with V4. That is continuous. Okay, so V4 is always there. Never be confused which form of verb you should apply. Okay, next is perfect. Now, students, repeat after me, although I can't listen to you. You can type in the comment section, perfect is always perfect. That is V3. 
Okay? We three denotes the perfect verb. Perfect is always perfect. Yeah? Yeah, very good. I can see that all of answer me. All of uh, you all guys are answering me. Very good. Very good. Wow. Just in wow. Wow. Admiration. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Vanita. Wow. Very good. Now, it's easy. It's very easy. Okay. So moving to, I hope that you guys actually have understood what's in the table. I think now I should change it. So I'm changing the slide. Hmm. Now, now you can drop your thumbs down because you guys are not writing but typing in the comment section. You can, you can put it down. Okay. Now, it's time to do some riddles. Okay. Now, I know that everyone here, I am 100,000% sure that everyone in the comment section completely actually interested in the riddles. Okay. So, I am telling you one word. I'm not one, one riddle. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. So, now, listen to me very carefully. Okay, I'm saying, what can you catch but never throw? Let me give you one example. It's not related to any sport. Okay, I'm, I'm helping you somehow because I'm a teacher. Perfect is always perfect. <laughs> okay, students, they are saying perfect is always perfect. She, my students, all of my students are very perfect. I love all of my students. I love riddles. Justin is saying, Ramya, glass? No, you can catch it, but uh, yes, you can throw the glass. Oh, you can throw the glass. Electric saying, I know. Cooking plus fun, yes. Cooking plus fun, education plus fun. Okay, we do have the same concept. Fun is there. Okay, Vijay Prasad, cold. Okay, so students, I know that you guys are thinking about the riddle. Do subscribe the channel if you are liking this. Okay, if you are liking the lesson, I really want you to please subscribe it right now and then again focus on your riddle. Okay, do it quickly. Okay, air. You cannot, you cannot touch air. Cooking plus one. No, it's not air. Electric is saying virus. Hmm. Virus. Okay, Rame is saying cold. Now. <laughs> Ramya, okay, COVID, Nitesh, cold, Naja, cold, okay, Bella Jones, cold, <laughs> MTX, a fever, Eva Jones, hi Eva, cold, okay, now, Sujata Rane, cold, hmm, you guys are very sharp, you have guessed the answer, that's it, it's cold, congratulations, I would like to clap for you. <laughs> I love riddles. If you love riddles, then you should love our channel also. Please do subscribe it, okay, and share it. Spread it like cold among your friends, okay. Do it, sub do subscribe it, do share it right now, okay. I'm waiting it. I got virus, but I threw it back. Naja, to whom you throw it back? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Very good. The answer is cold. Okay, now, okay, one more riddle, okay. Quickly answer me. Hmm. So, what can fill a room but take no space? Listen to me very carefully. Okay, I okay. Thank you, Kitchen Loves Gaming. You subscribe. Thank you so much. Okay. Now another. What kind of okay? What you can fill the thing that can fill the room but cannot take space? What's that? Come on, answer me in the comment section. I'm waiting for it. Okay, someone is answering air, smoke, Ramya, smoke, air, very nice, Josha, okay, Nitesh, Vijay Prasad, mothership, amazing, Woo. okay, I do have, a, and a, like, I do have kind of, you know, amazing students here, very good, now, quickly turn into sad and happy groups, okay, how many of you have a lot of friends? Tell me. Tell me. Because I have, I am having multiple friends right now. Air, air, air. Okay, okay. Light, air, light, air. Come on. Very good. Oh, you have answered it. Congratulations. Now quickly talk about the oxygen. <laughs> okay. Very good. Light, 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 light. Golden Black is saying light, 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 light. Okay. Silk, cold. Okay. Very good. Amazing. Now let's talk about the happy and the sad girls, right? So, am and is, 
they both have kind of one friend, that is was. Are will change into were. Has and have will change into had and do, does will change into dead. See, so easy. Okay, relax. You know that these two am and is present form of verb. Was is the past. Are present verb past. Has have present had past. Do does present did past. Okay, you can see it. Now I'll be telling you one amazing idea to differentiate it with singular and plural verbs. Now, okay, I have very few thumbs up. Notation manual saying thumbs up. Okay, very good. Now, whenever any helping verb ends with s, it belongs to singular. Simple, easy. Let it go. Whenever any helping verb ends with any kind of vowel like e or o, it belongs to plural. And then never it ends with d, both. Okay, let me show you. E, plural. Have, plural. Do, plural. S was, singular. Has, singular. Does, singular. And D and D, both. So now you can quickly say it, yes? Okay, rearrange these poets. Welcome to the lesson. Yeah, can you please, can you explain it again? Okay, see, it's very easy. Whenever any helping verb ends with S, it's singular because S stands for singular S. Singular. Whenever you see any vowel at the end, we know that there are five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So whenever any vowel, like you know, any verb ends with any vowel, it belongs to plural. Let me show you, like are, oh, have, do. Basically, it's e o, okay. <laughs> Singular, uh, okay. Had did both. Very good, very good. Abdul had did both. Okay. Hi, hi, shark staff seven. Hello. Yeah. So now you can easily connect to it. Okay, now I can. I now I have to show you this quickly. Question quickly. See see that. Okay, Michael Blank studying French for a year now. There are options in front of you. Fastly tell me the answer in the comment section because we need to work on it. Come on. What should be the answer? Lily. Okay, Lily Monty S. A electric saying A E I O U. Joshua Wong S S S S S. Ramya Suresh has been. Has been. Very good, Ramya Suresh. I would like to give you a virtual high five. This is the right answer. Now I am starting receiving the answer has been now. I am really happy that you guys know the answers. Very good. Why it has been? Because first of all, it's now. Now is a factor of present. And studying. Studying. It's ing, right? ING belongs to continuity, that is we folks studying for a year. It's a time span. So it's perfect because it's a time span. Now because it's present. So that makes present, perfect, continuous. So the answer is has been. I easy. Yes. Golden black. A very big yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jason and Kritik D. Nitesh D. Naja D. Electric D. Okay. Now. Moving to the question, second, I blank working all afternoon and have just finished the assignment. Options are there on your screen, quickly, and students, I would like to tell you one thing. If you guys really want to have this presentation, so the, the number that is actually appearing on your screen, do contact us there. We will be providing you this presentation. You can, you can easily do it and you can actually recall all of the tricks that you have done in this lesson. Okay, so do contact us there. Okay, now, okay, now I have well done. Lee Lan, option A, Jason Kritik, Miss You Know Why. <laughs> okay, okay, Nitesh, rearrange, okay, rearrange eSport, option A. Kittens game loving option A. Electric option A. Woo! There's so many A in the comment section. Very good. It's option A. 
I have been working all afternoon and just have finished the assignment. Congratulations, kids. You are on the very right path about the tense. I'm proud of you. Moving to the next question. Okay, we know that has have had. It's the perfect family. Perfect is always perfect. Remember that tagline. Perfect is always perfect. So, what should be the option? Quickly tell me in the comment section. I'm really waiting. Come on. Okay, Vijay Prasad, Joshua Wong, they are answering the previous question. That is option A. Very good. Now, quickly focus on this question. What is number three? I'm really waiting because you need to quickly pick the right verb for that. Okay. Very good. Ramya Suresh, option A. Very good. Very good. Kittens love gaming. No, dear. It's not spoke. It's not spoke. It's just like, see, spoke. It's V3 would be spoken. Okay, because perfect is always perfect. Speak, spoke, spoken. Okay, so it's V3. Spoke. Perfect is always perfect. Okay, very good. The motor, the motivation. <laughs> okay, very good. B, option B. Congratulations. Students, please quickly like this lesson if you are really enjoying it. Do like it, do subscribe it, do share us. Okay, now. If you can see this question, hmm. now there, there is a quite challenging golden, golden flag is saying B. I cannot pronounce it. Okay, very good. I got it correct. Very good, Rama. Kittens love gaming. Very good. Definitely success. Okay, now quickly, quickly question this answer. So, quickly answer this question. Come on, see, I'm fumbling. Come on. Okay, number four. A, B, C, D. I would really like to. Know the answer and why it would be <laughs> Sharka, okay, Shark, okay, it's Shark uh, 7, I liked it and subscribed it, Mothership A, okay, very good. Okay, hmm, I'm, Jessen is saying B-A-C, so smart, uh, you're not supposed to answer all of the answers, you're not, you're not supposed to answer all of the options A, B, C, D, don't do that, okay, because in exam you need to answer just one option, you need to just go for one option. Okay, so, okay, some students are answering option B, why? We always use was, okay, with I, okay, it's, it's a kind of, you know, um, okay, leave it. So, now, I was, but students, they're answering B. <laughs> it's okay, kittens love gaming. Okay, Parker Ninja A. Ashwin A. A Khan, option C. I had been standing. C, dear, you know, we whenever you do questions in your exams, do you read the instructions, everyone? Do you read the instructions? This is the most important thing that you should always do. Read the following sentence and change the verb so that it is in the past continuous past continuous so it's not perfect we use like has have had family belongs to perfect so had been is not the answer i am it belongs to present it's not the answer we never use i and what together but in only one case we use it but never we imagine something okay if i were you if we never use if that this is a kind of an imagination that you guys are doing if I were you, so then you use were. But in this case, there is no imagination, kids. Yeah, I have. Okay, Dennis, you have subscribed. Thank you so much. And you have liked it. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, so the answer is option A. I was standing in the car parking area. And so a lorry going past. Come on. So it's answer A. So whenever it's a Okay, students, I cannot see you guys right now, but I am hoping that all of my students are sitting with pen and paper and they write things down. Okay? Very good. Hmm. Now you see this slide. What's there? Okay. First of all, you quickly, if you are liking this lesson, quickly go to the Telegram, join our page, join our Facebook page, subscribe us on YouTube and also join us on Instagram so here you know there will be so many these kinds of fun loving and easy with including all these tricks events will be coming in this week 
so th so that will be definitely notifying you you need to join us okay quickly go for it now moving to this types of persons okay now you don't need to tell like we, we know that there are you know you know three types of person as you can see in this picture so yeah Naja, yes everyone is saying yes okay electric miss my mom is not there don't worry you just um, right now you can just fun it okay and you can just enjoy it you can just you know see you can just select a learning you can see the name and after that you can just pen it down write it there somewhere and after that after ending of this lesson you can go on it and subscribe us now types of person very good Vijay Prasad I would like to give you a very quick high five it's three types of person first person second person third person now you know that how many types of personal pronouns are there I would like to know in the comment section isn't it supposed to be types of people <laughs> no it's type of person first person second person third person okay okay three is the magic number do 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 what's that <laughs> I'm asking the personal pronouns spider-man woo yes spider-man spider me spider yeah Dennis you got it right first person is me my myself mothership very good Abdul first person second person third person three person very good congratulations you guys know so know about it so now first person second person third person when you talk okay suppose so there are three spider-mans in this conversation this spider-man is talking to this one when, whenever it's speaking something like you know um, anything speaking something right so it's the first person this one is listening to so this is the second person and these two spider-mans are talking about this another one which is not the part of this conversation so the first person who is speaking it's the first person like I am the first person because I am using I for myself I am the first person you all guys are listening to me you all are second person and we are talking about spider-man so he is the third person right so the topic of our conversation right now is a spider-man I know that okay writing this in my notebook thank you so much Naja boom okay very good now so it's like you know first person is I and V if I talk about the personal pronouns personal pronouns I know that there are so many types of pronouns are there reflexive pronouns demonstrative pronouns I'm talking about personal pronouns so there are total seven types of personal pronouns I would like to write there so um, okay first person second person third person so first person the personal pronoun for first person is I V second person is you and third person is he she it and they so there are total seven types of personal pronouns first person is I and me yes I will change into me we will change into us you will remain you okay you will not change you are my students right so you will not change he will change into him she will change into her it will change into it they will change into them if you really like this information waiting for now let's quickly talk about this pit cat is third person you know what we are jumping we are jumping towards the reported speech you know as I have promised you in the beginning of the lesson that because you find very good because you find quick difficulty in reported speech I am having one liner sentence about reported speech but Dr. Strange is better golden black <laughs> James Fernandez three okay Iron Man rules golden black okay Ramya Suresh I love the lesson then I would like to give you a heart okay Jason okay what happened nothing just quickly write down this and now I'm, I'm, rep I'm you know I'm just you know I'm um, explaining it yes in electric you're saying miss I also know active hmm that's great okay now pit cat is third person P stands for 
past. You know, whenever we, whenever we go from active speech to passive speech, always use the past tense. Okay, but there is one exception about the real, real life truths, like you know, the universal truths. The sun rises in the east. No one can change it except God. We all believe in God, right? So yeah, past. Okay, so. Okay, okay. No problem, electric. You can go there. Okay, now. Pit stands for past. I stands for interrogative. Like when you ask questions, so you need to add if. Okay, whether or if. T stands for that. You always use that. She told me that. Use okay, so she she told me that. So whenever you'll be changing from active to passive, then do add that. That's the most important thing, right? Okay. Okay, past tense. Very good, Vijay Prasad. Lilan, yes, past. Eva Jones, yes, past. Now, whenever it's about command, when you're commanding someone, please bring me a glass of water. Okay, please. Please, can you cook me a pizza? How many of you like pizza? Tell me, honestly. Multiverse of Madness is cool. Okay. Come on, students. Tell me how many of you like pizza. Jessim's like smiley. Okay. Ramya Suresh, I'm taking screenshots. <laughs> okay, you can do for your ease. Naja, same. You like pizza? Hmm. Okay, me, Preeti Ahuja saying me, okay, mothership, me, everyone is saying me, 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 cooking plus fun, me, Josha, very good, everyone is saying everyone love pizza, you know, including me, I can eat a lot of pizzas, okay, come on, command, so, you need, whenever it's command or request or anything, do add, to, don't forget to add to, she requested me to cook pizza for her. So whenever it's request or command or order, and to. So whenever it's that, always add to. She requested to. She, she actually ordered to. She ordered to. So whenever it's like, you know, Margareta's favorite one, Justin. Whew. Electric. Um, 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 um. Okay. Hello. Okay, now, Pitcat is third person. Whenever in reported speech you change it, always go with the third person. Okay, like, like you know, I will change. Like you know, whenever it's like I, if it's girl, so that will be changing into she. Whenever it's boy, that will be changing into he. Whenever it's a group, that will be changing into they. So it's always about. The third person, okay? There is no space for first or second person except to you. So whenever you, you will change into I, okay? So it's like that. I know that you guys are loving it. Okay, come on. Now, students, you know, I would like to tell you one more thing. If you're really liking this lesson, I have a really good news for you. Can you guess that? From 15th of August, We'll be launching very fresh batches, so do join us there, okay? And I'll be teaching you, and I'll be preparing you for your 11th exams, and with all these fun tricks, and you'll be enjoying and loving it. Okay, she's they. <laughs> no, she's not they. She's singular, and they is for plural, okay? Vijay Prasad, third person, yes, always in third person. So, Pit Cat is third person. So, this, with this help of statement, you can learn the reported speech. Come on, very good. Yeah, yes, Naja. She's singular. They is plural, like a group of people, like more two or more than two. So that would be plural. Now, here I would like to give you kind of an advice. Do, do take the screenshot for that because today will always change into that day. Now, then, yesterday will change into the day before. Days ago, like seven days ago seven days before last week will turn into previous week next year the following year okay so you can quickly take the screenshot for that now quickly focus on this question because now you need to change the reported speech the teacher exclaimed that 
I'm suspended. What should be the answer? The teacher said, you are suspended. Is it a good news? Being, being suspended? No. Okay, it's not. Thank you, Ram Yasura. You took it. Yeah, I'm, say, I'm, I'm receiving that students that they are actually taking the screenshot. Very good. Now, quickly answer me what should be the answer of this question. Which option? Okay, I'm receiving options. Answer as option C. Okay, Lily Monty saying D. Mothership. Okay, why are you saying no? If you haven't taken the if you haven't taken the screenshot, you can quickly go for it. Okay, Ashwin, no. Then quickly take the screenshot. Okay, Ashwin, it's not a bad thing. It's not even being suspended from the school. Why is the student suspended? I don't know. I haven't checked his history, right? So I really don't know why the student has been suspended from the school. Preeti Hauja is saying C. Okay, Sujata so Rane C. I'm receiving option as C. The teacher informed me that I was suspended. You know what? C. Students, I would like to tell you one thing. Have you observed something there? Isn't it an exclamation? Whenever, after any word, any exclamatory mark is there, it's actually an exclamation. The teacher exclaimed that I was suspended. So the right answer is option C, I was suspended. Very good. Moving to the next question. I am going out tonight, Mary said. Students, I have one thing. Whenever it's like two night, two will change into that, two, day, that, day. It's like that, okay? Come on. Now, yeah, I'm receiving the answers. Very good. Now tell me the answer for this question. I have given you the hint, okay? Come on. Yeah, okay, the option is D. Mary said that she will be going. No. I have told you that it's always in past tense. It's always in past tense. Joe Shawong, it's not D. It's not D. It's always in past tense. Kit Pit Cat is third person, right? Mary said that she was going out tonight. No, because tonight will change into that night. So Mary said that she was going out that night. So the right answer is option B. Mothership that tomorrow. That's a nice joke, but it's not. Okay, don't confuse yourself with that. Today, that tomorrow, no. <laughs> it would be previous day. Cool. Okay, moving to the next question. Yeah, it's option B. Very good. Now I'm receiving tons of B. Okay, moving to the third question. The God asked, who are you? Answer me. Okay, come on. The God asked, who was I? What it should be, the, or, or it should be, the God asked me who he was. The God asked me who he was. Okay, I'm receiving option B. Okay, the God asked. It should be, first of all, it's in present, it should be in past. The God asked who he was. So the answer should be, because there is no I, so the simple answer is, the God asked who he was. Very good. Now. Moving to the next question. She said, bring a glass of water, please. Just like, you know, bring me noodles, please. Because we all know that noodles is the love. Everything is love, right? So like every tasty thing, like it could be pizza, noodles, burger. Okay, but you know, you should not always stick to that, okay? You should always take care of your health. Just like vocabulary a day, exercise like on every day. Now, it should be... She said, bring a glass of water, please. So she requested. Whenever it's please, it's always requested. She requested me to bring the glass of water. And if you really like these kind of informations, these kind of quick tricks, please do like us, subscribe the channel, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing that. Most of more, more students, they're liking it. Very good. Thank you so much. It's option B. She requested me to bring the glass of water. Now, okay, so... It's time to ask you one question, one riddle. So are you ready for that? Okay. Now, it should be, tell me a bird that has eyes even larger than its brain. Tell me. Tell me the name of the bird. I'm waiting. Quickly. We are riddles. 
Yes, shark is at seven. It's riddle. Tell me the bird. Okay, I am a bird. I am having eyes larger than my brain. What it should be? Bird. It's a bird. Okay, and it has eyes larger than brain. Owl. Okay, I'm receiving most of the students. Ashwin, very good. It's ostrich. Woo, Ashwin, very good. Naja, ostrich. Rio Race Esports, ostrich. Come on, guys. Amazing. Very good. Now, we know that in every exam, like in 11th class, comprehension plays very important role. So I'm quickly telling you five tricks. Leela and ostrich. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, now read the questions first. Read the questions first. Then you need to talk about the keywords and important information in questions. Then do talk about, then read the comprehension, read the text, match it with the questions. And I would like to add one trick. Never ever read whole comprehension at once. Whenever you collect information, whenever you collect information, read the questions, go back to the comprehension, solve it, go back to the comprehension, solve it, like whenever, whenever you receive any kind of matching idea, go to the questions, solve it and clear it out there, okay? Now, I am reading one comprehension quickly, but I'll, I'll not be reading the comprehension because I have just told you that, read the questions first, read the questions first, very good, De Dennis, your, ex your expression, like, you know, your expression is like, Ooh. Okay. Who said golden black? I said. <laughs> because that will be helping in your exams. Okay, Dennis. Wow. Ramya Suresh. So helpful for me. Thank you so much, Ramya. Okay, Preeti Hoja comprehension is so hard. I know that, Preeti. But you know what you can do? You can practice it on the daily basis with the help of these tricks that I have given to you. Now quickly move to these questions. How would you describe Matt? at the beginning of the story okay you need to describe Matt L you need to you need to look at me very carefully okay how I am doing it describe Matt so in the first question you need to describe Matt market next Matt's favorite dinner okay hmm that's just like you okay <laughs> okay now Jessen, I like this class. Thank you so much, Jessen. Kitten, yes, yes. Okay, now, this is impossible. Who said it? Who was he feeling at that time? So, this is impossible. Now, choose the correct statement. Now, you need to focus. You need to, you need to read these statements because then you can check what kind of things is are given in the comprehension, okay? So, Matt apologized to his parents and sister. Okay, Matt cooked dinner once. Sophia realized how her parents must feel at the time. She complained about the dinner. Matt, keep, Matt, Matt kept complaining about the meal and his parents cooked for him till the end. Okay, very good. So th these are the four questions that today we'll be doing. Now, I am reading it. Okay, now you need to, me yeah, now you need to listen to me very carefully. Rear race esports. He's saying D. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't read it. It's okay. Leland, now we are we are going to read it. Okay, now. Oof. Okay, so now before you know, as I have always suggested to you, whenever you read anything, go for the instructions, okay? Let me read the instructions for you. Read the passage given below and answer the questions from eleven to twenty, the dinner disaster. Okay. How many of you 
like never likes all the dishes that are prepared in your house tell me I'm waiting for your answers like you know it's like always it's always like something some there is always single dish that annoys you sometimes in, in your on kind of your dinner time yes okay I'm reading it now Ooh, meatloaf again I hate meatloaf Matt yelled you know yelling means to actually you know shouting loud at someone that's a symbol of being rude okay Matt yelled I'm not eating this Matt's mom and dad looked at each other now I got an idea that yelling means being rude to someone I have changed my sheet and I've moved to it and answer option B because I have quickly catch the keyword there being rude that's the option B simple very good very good so um, yes now just saying being shout like shouting at someone okay now read it moving to the next part we are going to okay mad outbursts had been happening at least one a week or somewhere long we are going now to let you take one dinner time from now on you can pick the meals and cook them as long as they are healthy you should always stick to the healthy food mom said good we are going to eat good food tonight every night Matt answered Matt had already been thinking about his favorite dinners we are going to have chicken tonight see I'm circling it the ideas that I have read in the questions I am circling it we are going to have chicken tonight spaghetti tomorrow macaroni and cheese mmm I am really thinking that you guys are loving these dishes <laughs> right <laughs> okay very good now okay there's one click in my head I have seen this question so the answer is option B macaroni no 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 it's not option B you have read it it's chicken spaghetti macaroni and cheese so it's option a very good here you can see it now I have showed you how you can solve these type of questions now it's your time to answer me okay I'm reading it you need to be very attentive that's why you will get the chance to give to to actually win the free live lesson and the mock test so be very attentive these two answers we're definitely deciding that like how much attentive you are in the lesson yummy Preeti Hoja is saying, hmm, Ashwin, hmm, I love these things. Yeah, me too. Okay, very good. Now, I'm reading it. Matt started. Dad, what else we are going to have with chicken? Oh, yeah. Hmm, we can have corn with the chicken, Matt said. Sophia doesn't like corn, Dad said. If your students remember, this was the question. But this was the question. Very good. Like, Sophia doesn't like chicken. Okay. Sarah, okay, Sarah is saying I don't like chicken, but I really love it. Okay. Well, it's my choice. I'm going to take, I'm going to make corn, Matt replied. Matt and his dad spent the next hour figuring out whole week meal and decide the dishes. It was a lot more work than Matt expected. And almost every time he picked something out, his dad would tell him that someone in the family wouldn't like it it was very frustrating this is impossible Matt exasperated okay now I'm representing some questions this is impossible who said it how he or she was feeling at the same time Dennis um yum 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 tum 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 okay I'm, no, I'm knowing that you know you're talking about food now focus on the lesson <laughs> focus on the question and answer me I'm waiting except chicken Mm, you like corn, Zaku. Mm, that's great. Okay, now I'm giving you 10 seconds to answer me in the comment section. What should be the answer? Vu, Abdul is saying option D. Ramya Suresh, option D. Okay, Ashwin, corn. Matt, okay. Justin, option D. Very good. A Khan, option D. Hmm, La, okay, Lee Lan, sorry, option D. Very good. Zakul, option D. Vijay Prasad, option D. Very good. Amazing. The answer is Matt intentionally irritated. Like he was very irritated at that moment. And the last question of this lesson. Very careful, okay? Choose the correct statement. 
that, that's the main lesson of the comprehension as well. Matt apologized to his parents and sister. Option B. Matt cooked the dinner once. Option C. Sophia realized how her parents must feel every time she complained about the dinner. Option D. Matt kept complaining about the meal his parents cooked for him till the end. Woo! Woo okay, I can see that. Options are popping in the comment section. Option D. Kevin Emick, boy fun. Option D. Jesse. Option D. A Khan. Option D. Preeti Hoja. Option D. Very good. Okay, Vanida. Option D. Hmm. No. Okay. For that, you need to go about it. Yes, it's hard. Your mother and try very hard to make everyone happy. I'm reading it. Okay. We just can't please everyone. It was time for Matt to make his first meal. His parents both in the kitchen to help him since he didn't know how to cook yet. Well, that's a lot to do, Matt thought. As he looked at the directions for everything, he was usually playing video games or outside while his parents made dinner. Okay, students, if, suppose if you, if you have read this whole one and if you read these lines, I'm quickly giving you the hint to answer your last question, okay? See, you need to look at the screen and, and you need to be very, very attentive. I'm sorry, Sophia. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I shouldn't have yelled at you guys. Okay? Very good. So the answer for this question is, Matt apologized to his parents and sister. He apologized. Yes. Very good. I am now receiving option D. You guys are very attentive and you listen to me very carefully. Now, students, I would like to tell you about like you know how we are going to do in our further weeks okay so in this week on Wednesday sharp at 11 a.m. there is a kind of non-verbal reasoning this free live event so don't forget to join us in this lesson there will be so many amazing tricks that we will be, we'll be giving you and that will be definitely helpful for you and on 13th of August sharp at 1 p.m. We'll be providing you another free live event for maths again and you'll be having fun in that, I promise you. Okay, students, so don't forget to join us there and please, if you really want this presentation, do contact us on the numbers that are on your screen. Quickly join us and don't forget to join us on these free events. Thank you so much. Subscribe us now and please like, share and subscribe this event and this lesson. Thank you so much.